Now I've never used an ice cream maker before. I kind of feel like, you know, like Zoolander where they're like, you know, ah, ah, ah. you know, I, don't, I, just, I just don't know what to do here. Hi, I'm Frank. I'm a professional chef and these are my $178 ice cream sundae ingredients. Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a home cook and these are my $12 ice cream sundae ingredients. Good. Take it. I'm stoked. Bring it on. Damn it, I can't have any fun. <laughs> Am I have to make ice cream? <laughs> Not a lot here, but I'm a wizard, Harry. The ice cream sundae I had planned to make was going to blow your mind. I had farm fresh eggs, cream, and milk to make homemade ice cream. I have to like invent ice cream on the spot because that's what's gonna happen here. To flavor my ice creams, I had super ripe strawberries, multiple types of chocolate, and decadent dulce de leche. I was gonna do candy peanuts and a sweet pineapple topping from scratch. I was gonna make my own maraschino cherries with fresh cherries and cherry liqueur. Is that what this? Ah, maraschino original and Tahitian vanilla beans to make homemade vanilla whipped cream. You scream, I scream. We all would have screamed for this Sunday. With Daniel's ingredients, we have things you can find in your local convenience store. But with a little bit of MacGyvering, we're gonna make them amazing. If I had to guess looking at these ingredients, I'd say they cost about $14.25, $12. All right. Look, there's a ton of vanilla here and vanilla is expensive. I think it's like gold, human blood, and then vanilla. 180? I'm excited. You excited? I'm excited. All right, I mean, I'm looking at this, there's there's nothing, there's nothing in here. But it looks like I'm making deluxe banana split with homemade maraschino cherries and candied peanuts. My stomach's like, yes! <laughs> Daniel, I know you have a lot to do today, but if you keep your head in the game and stay on target, you'll be fine. So can I, can I call Rose? Is that okay? Please? Rose! Daniel, how are you? I am doing better now that I'm talking to you, honestly. <laughs> Best part of the day. I never even made one kind of ice cream. So is there, can you give me some guidance on how to make ice cream? Of course. So this is pretty nice because you're going to make three ice creams out of one base. You're gonna be starting with a custard base for your ice cream, which is really a creme anglaise. You're gonna take your egg yolks, probably about eight of them. You're gonna make a decent volume here and add sugar to that and mix it together until it's nice and light in color. It'll be a nice thickness. Then separately on medium heat, you're gonna take equal parts, heavy cream and milk. You're gonna add some vanilla. Vanilla bean, it smells so good. It's so nice. And you're gonna heat that up. So you're gonna take your hot cream and milk mixture and add it gently to your egg and sugar mixture while you're mixing. Then you're gonna take all of that nice sugary egg mixture and add it back to your pot. So you're gonna cook that on medium heat. Don't boil it because it'll start to curdle if you do. Curdled eggs are scrambled eggs. And if you've ever seen curdled eggs in cream, it's disgusting. When it starts to thicken, dip the spoon in, run your finger down the back of the spoon. If it stays separated, that's called that bay, and it means that you're basically thick enough. All right, this lets me know this is ready to go. You're gonna take it off the heat, so you're gonna basically strain it just to get any extra little egg parts or things like that. So it's gonna be super smooth once you do that. Oh, I love the smell of creme anglaise in the morning. As always, I could not do this without you. Bye, Rose. I can easily make a sundae from everything I have in front of me, but I'm a chef. I'm gonna make something called a semi-frito. And basically this is a ice cream dessert that is semi-frozen, semi-frito, right? The first thing I wanna do is chop my brownies into bite-sized pieces. Flavor number one, strawberry. Uh, strawberries, sugar, and lemon. Just a little bit of the peel. Excellent, bam. And then just the juice. Mix that up and hopefully, if all goes well, it'll taste great. And now, look at that action. Mwah. All right, on to the dulce de leche ice cream. And I'm so glad that Chef Frank actually just gave me this dulce de leche because if I had to make caramelized milk, it would have been a whole thing. So thank you, Chef Frank. I'm super stoked to make chocolate ice cream. It's like one of my favorite flavors. I think it's pretty plain and simple. I'm just gonna add the melted dark and milk chocolate into my creme anglaise that is still warm. 
and then add some espresso powder and immersion blend this baby all the way home. We want the flavor to be dispersed really well in the ice cream base so we get a nice, smooth, even flavored ice cream. Whether you use a whisk, a blender, or an immersion blender, just make sure they're incorporated really well. Once you have a finished custard or creme anglaise, remember this, chill before you churn. Chilling before you churn gives your machine a jump start. If it's hot and you put it in the machine, it's gonna take forever to freeze. If it's chilled, it's gonna freeze a lot quicker. And this is going in my backpack. No one saw anything. Look away. Thank you. Next step is to mix our caramel into our ice cream base. The ice cream is kind of at a sloshy state. We're gonna take uh, our container of caramel and just incorporate that caramel into the ice cream base. And then we're gonna fold in our whipped cream. If you don't over mix it, we're gonna get a nice fluffy end product and that's what we want. We can add our brownie bits now and then we're gonna put it into our dish to freeze. I'm gonna also take some brownies and just crumble them on top so we know there's brownies in there. The other ones just kind of float in the middle of it. All right, let's go throw this in the freezer for a few hours and then we'll have a beautiful semi-fredo. Gonna make some maraschino cherries now, homemade style, which is something I've never done before, but I think the process is gonna be very similar to almost like the strawberry reduction I just made. Most people see maraschino cherries and they think of those bright red ones in the jar. That is not a true maraschino cherry. True maraschino cherries come in a syrup, they're really expensive, and they are absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have you make a maraschino flavored simple syrup to pour over those fresh cherries. So we got some water and sugar, zest of the lemon, get in there, and uh, the juice again. Last but not least, the vanilla. Get those lovely vanilla beans in there. Pod also goes in there, so that'll start reducing. Because the cherries are fresh, we're gonna poke some holes in them so the simple syrup can easily infuse into them. I had no idea that maraschino was even a liquor, a liqueur. Wow, this is good. And then you have your own homemade maraschino cherries. Bam! And now for the cherry on top, literally. I'm gonna take these maraschino cherries, which in and of themselves aren't that great, and I'm gonna make them delicious. They do hold a special place in a lot of people's hearts, right? And I can bust on them all I want, but I'm still gonna eat them when I put them on a sundae. First thing I'm gonna do is melt my chocolate. While those are melting, I'm gonna take my cherries out and I'm going to dry these off really well. Because if these are wet, the chocolate's never gonna stick. Chocolate is melted really nice. And then we're just gonna take our cherries, give them a little swirly, put them on a sheet tray with parchment. One or two for the Sunday, the rest, chef snacks. We'll give some to the crew too. The crew can have some too. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, let them chill and solidify. Chocolate covered cherries. Going nuts for nuts, just like those street carts in New York. Candy nuts are a classic Sunday topping. For the candy peanuts, we're gonna add sugar, peanuts, and water to a pot. We're gonna put that over a medium heat and just keep stirring. It's gonna get sandy, it's gonna look really weird, but then it'll eventually caramelize and make our beautiful, fragrant candy peanuts. After the peanuts are caramelized, pour them out on a sheet tray, let them cool completely. Look at that. While they're hot, I'm gonna give them a little dusting of salt. Not too much, because I don't want to take away from the, the sweet factor, but candy nuts, we did it. Next topping I'm gonna to make is brownie chips. You might have seen brownie brittle in the stores, so I'm trying to do something similar to that. This is a good way to take our store-bought brownies and make them just a little nicer. Take your brownie bites. You don't need to do anything, just put them in the machine. I'm just gonna whiz them up real quick. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of our softened ice cream just to kind of moisten them a little. I'm really getting a ton of use out of this melted ice cream. I'm pretty excited about it. That's what we're looking for, a nice smooth paste. Slap it onto our Silpat. If you don't have a Silpat, you can go onto a piece of parchment. Whatever you do, don't use wax paper because then your brownies will taste like crayons. Get an offset spatula and spread. I'm gonna go as thin as I can all the way out. An offset spatula gives you some mechanical advantage. If it was flat, you wouldn't be able to get into this uh, tray. The offset spatula lets you get really low into the tray. Now let's put it in the oven and turn it into brownie chips. My brownie mixture's been in the oven for about an hour. It's cooled down, let's make some brownie chips. Because I have this Silpat, I can basically just lift it up 
and crack this into shards. So that's what I'm looking for, nice and crispy. <sighs> All right, home stretch. Say hello to my little friend, the pineapple. I have you making your own sweet pineapple topping. This is nothing like the stuff that comes out of the jar, that goopy, thick, disgusting stuff. This is gonna be bright and full of fresh pineapple deliciousness. Got some lime juice, pineapple juice, my hunks of pineapple, and sugar. Sugar is like the key, it's like, that is the thread that binds everything in this recipe is sugar. And I'm not mad about it. So a little pinch of salt. It's cornstarch water slurry time. The cornstarch slurry is gonna thicken your pineapple mixture to the right consistency, not thick and gloopy and disgusting. You wanna bring this mixture to a boil so you cook out any of that cornstarch flavor. Take it off the heat, chill it, and what you're left with is a sweet, syrupy pineapple topping. Whew, we are one step closer to an immaculate Sunday. I'm hoping. Now we're gonna make a quick and dirty chocolate sauce for my Sunday. And by quick and dirty, I mean quick and delicious. So I have some of this ice cream still floating around and I don't want to come to a boil. I just want to get it hot enough so that it melts the chocolate chips that Daniel gave me. Adding the ice cream base to the chocolate chips is going to make our chocolate chips pourable. I'm going to put this into a bowl and let it cool. Now we have our chocolate sauce, super easy, quick and delicious. All righty then. It is time to churn our base. We churn our ice cream not only to freeze it, but we're gonna put a little bit of air into it, and we're gonna make sure the ice crystals are really small so it has a really nice mouthfeel. I'm guessing I just pour it in, and then there's gotta be a button that'll just take care of it for me. Yeah, it looks like it's going through like a process to get to ice cream, so I'm just gonna let it kinda do its thing. It's all you, big guy. Okay, this has been churning for a while now. I'm gonna open the pod bay doors here. That looks like ice cream. So I hope I did this right. Now every ounce of my being wants to eat this right now, just like to try it, but I'm gonna try to be good and hold off until the end. <laughs> so, so I can see like at the very end um, if I've gone astray. But this is a good amount of ice cream, dude. It's like a ton, look at that. Whoa. Now for this one, uh, I was told to kind of layer this a little bit. Do a little bit of ice cream and then a layer of dulce de leche, ice cream dulce de leche. So I'm gonna do that because that sounds Awesome. Whew. All right. And that will also go into the freezer to cool down while I work on the rest of the recipe. Good morning. Ugh. It's a new day and my ice cream is almost ready to be revealed, but first I wanna make the whipped cream. And this is gonna be a lot of work. So I'm gonna make whipped cream by hand. Whenever I whip cream, I make sure everything is chilled, even my bowl. I think that it makes it go a lot quicker. You're gonna have a fresh vanilla bean that you need to cut down the center and scrape all of the seeds out. Those seeds are what give your whipped cream its flavor. Do not throw the pod away. Save that pod for future use in other things. Prepare to watch me whisk for a very long time. <laughs> and you're gonna whip until your arm feels like it's gonna fall off. You might say to yourself, we're gonna need a bigger whisk. You don't need a bigger whisk, just keep whipping. Oh, it's a workout. But, good news is, whipped cream is whipped. Daniel, an easy way to fill a pastry bag is to put it into a pint glass, fold it out over that pint glass, and then fill it with the cream. This I'm gonna keep cold, I'm gonna throw this into probably like the refrigerator or something, and just keep it nice and chilly until I'm ready to use it. So, ha, 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 ha. Sunday's assemble. Time to assemble the ice cream sundae. So the ice cream has been freezing for a while now. Um, check this out. Look at that. Boop. And it looks good. It looks nice and smooth, which is exactly what I wanted. I want to just check out how my semi-fredo uh, turned out. So I'm just going to give it a little scoop. Look at that. Beautiful. It's softer and lighter than ice cream, but it's gonna be just as satisfying. Three nice scoops. Look at that, beautiful. I'm gonna start with this dish and go one scoop at a time. I think I'm gonna start with the strawberry. Next, I'll do the dulce de leche. Oh man, this looks so good. Last but not least, the chocolate. Next, I'm gonna do the banana. You know, I feel like every banana split has like, you know, you gotta split the banana. Get our chocolate sauce. Don't be shy, get on there, look at that. So for the strawberry side, that's where I'm gonna add my pineapple. I'm gonna do some dulce de leche on top of the dulce de leche, not too much. Take our brownie shards 
and make sure they look nice and big, right? So the chocolate gets like a double chocolate treatment. Uh, nuts. Now this goes over everything. I feel like a child. I'm, <laughs> this is the most excited I've been in a long time. Whipped cream on top. I love whipped cream, so I'm gonna go a little ham on this. And then a couple of these beautiful chocolate dip cherries. You know how much they've changed since they've been sitting in the simple syrup? I might just do one. I think one in the middle is perfect. Pop quiz hot shot, what is this? The best sound you've ever seen. I can't wait to see what Daniel thinks of what I did with his ingredients. Bang! This is my take on Chef Frank's ice cream sundae. I'm ready for my close up. Hello! Hey, Dan. It's an honor to meet you. <laughs> I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan. I'm like. I'm a fan of you as well. <laughs> All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Ooh! Ooh. That looks <laughs> like a wonderful <laughs> banana split. Can I, can I like dive into yeah, this? Let's taste, yeah, oh let's taste, God. okay. This sounds so um, Or you can just is, do Is it like a method yet? Give me the method. I was method. gonna take my brownie chip and just give a scoop. Mm. I mean. But, oh uh, man. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. And the little chunks in there too? Yeah, there's like a lot that. of sugar. <laughs> it's super sweet. Mm. <laughs> It'll make your teeth hurt. Good? So good. <laughs> Holy cow. So, you know, on the surface it looks simple, but it took a lot of work to do this. <laughs> I might need everyone to just shut the cameras off so I can do this in private, please. Caramel. The nuts are, I think, one of my favorite things. Even though they're in, like, the ice cream, they did not sog out. Mm. They still got some, like... A little crunch to them? Man, hell yeah. One thing I want to try is this baby. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. That's wild. It's so different yeah. than what you get in a can. It tastes like a cherry, but then you get a little of that, yeah. that boozy kick in it too. And that's what, that's what you want. Oh wait, I just got a piece of pineapple. I forgot about the pineapple. You sold me on the pineapple. I'm not a pineapple guy. It's really good. But the pineapple's freaking awesome. Actually, oh, this, is, this is amazing. Great job, buddy. Thank you, sir. Great job. Oh. Yes! 